Ladies and gentlemen, how are you all today? Personally, I feel really great and excited for this contest. Oh, for this show. So before I start my speech, I just want you all to enjoy this little clip. So please enjoy it. So the clip has ended. What do you see after you watch the clip and what do you think about it? You see many types of sustainable energy. There's the solar energy, there's the wind energy, and there's the AI. So can you guess the topic that I'm going to talk about today? Is it going to be the renewable energy? Or is it going to be the AI? Or why cannot be both of them? Ensuring the energy efficiency with artificial intelligence. So according to my own understanding, I believe that our future was shaped up by nothing but our mega friend, the AI. And after I watched this clip, a question came up to my mind instantly. Can the AI assist the energy transition? And so that is why I'm here today, to talk about it, to help you all see my vision, to get and understand what the AI can capable of. But before I dive any deeper into it, I just wanted to give you some general information about the, energy, the global energy status. With the fossil fuels still providing more than 80% of the global energy, the energy sector needs to be at the center of the progress to prevent any further catastrophic from climate impacts, correct? And you did not hear me wrong. There are 80%. We have 100% and the fossil fuels takes 80. And to do that, applying technology is considered an effective solution. Why do I say that? Why? Why do I say that the AI can railroad for the energy transition progress? We already know what AI is. We already know the concept of it. But now, it can be a powerful tool that can manage the complexity and improve system efficiency, thereby reducing the costs and increase the speed of transition. Those are a few things that one alludes to when talking about AI, right? It may sound a little futuristic, but AI is already a thing in our lives and existing in our lives. We are surrounded by it without being aware of it. Take it for example. The moment that you wake up, you turn on your TV and you see a Netflix recommendation. That is AI. Or the Google search bar, perhaps. When you type in something, some sentences, some questions shows up that's trying to match what you are typing in. That is AI. Or closer to any of us, a phone right inside your pockets. Social media, games, applications, all of them use AI. And your phone is just like a definition of an AI civilization. Navigating these trends can also pose a significant strategy an operational challenge for the energy intensive sectors or energy industry. But this point, another question really takes the show. Will the source of electrical power remain forever for us human? And why do we need the AI to assist the energy transition? Well, like I said, AI is a powerful tool, yes. Now, it will be essential technology for humanity since it acts just like a glue that can connect different sectors together. Heat, mobility, industry, and so on. Put there to effectively monitor the system and processes. So with the previous question, I want you all trying to imagine this. Replace the words why to how. How can the AI assist the energy transition? How can it support humanity's greatest resource? And you change one word, entire sentence changed. This is where the AI kicks in, by creating a layer of intelligence in the coordination, transmissions, and the use of energy. AI can help the energy stakeholders identify the patterns, the information, the detailed data to predict the possible outcomes of complex multivariate scenarios. Accordingly, from an article in September 2021 by World Economic Forum, 
They have stated that there are four main focus areas that AI has the most promising in. Not just one, not just two, but four main focus areas. Renewable energy management, renewable energy generation and demand forecasting, material discovery and innovation, and the final one is power grid operation enhancement. So there are four, but in my point of view, there are only two that actually brings out what is called impossible or carry the key to what humanity can become. I will start to analyze it right now. The first one, renewable energy generation demand forecasting. We all use electricity, right? None of us don't. We use it on a daily basis. And as renewable energy generation develops, AI will become essential to better predict the solar and the wind energy improve the capacity factors, production uptime of factories, as well as accurately predict the consumer demand. So you can see, from power selection design to power scheduling, AI has a role to play. With that role, you can achieve such incredible things, like using the AI to optimize the sequence of equipment delivery to sites, or use the computer vision to identify the ineffective or hazardous site processes. Demand forecasting is very complex, and AI is adapting to it. By predicting and collect the old, the past data from the consumer, both at individual and aggregate levels. The second one that I think is also very important for humanity's future is material discovery and innovation. Why do I say that? You see, when you're trying to develop something, you need the basics, that is the materials. You can't develop anything without the materials, like you're trying to build the buildings without the structures of it, or when you're eating a sandwich made without flour or baking powder. That also applies for AI, and it is a painful problem, right? These event materials need to meet a specific recommendation, a specific requirement, I'm sorry, a specific requirement for certain applications often take years to complete, and they are capital intensive. That is a painful problem, but it can be resolved with AI. In a term known as material discovery, you can use the AI to screen high potential elements by given problems, predicting the party properties of these advanced materials, and create new structures at molecular level. Clearly, from power generation and demand forecasting, or material discovery and innovations, or anything I've listed above, AI plays an important role in our lives. You can use it to replace the activities of organizations, businesses, political commitment to reduce the global emissions. To me, AI is just like a pearl inside of a hard shell. If you actually spend time on it, if you actually do some research on it, you open that hard shell and there's the pearl and what AI can become and its full potential. That is AI. With AI deep knowledge about energy and associated with some technology that humanity is already developing, I have enough confidence to say that we are only scratching what is possible, what is capable of. I am excited for the way that AI is impacting our lives and touching our lives, and most of all, I am excited for what about to come next. Thank you for listening.